This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well as you can see I'm not in right now, I'm uh, traveling in the US, but I didn't want to leave you guys without new videos, so I pre-recorded a few in the Assets series and this is one of them, okay? So uh, hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll be back soon with more, okay? Bye! Okay guys, well in this uh, ultra short uh, tutorial uh, as part of the series, uh, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way how to create a set of steps, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a simple uh, polygon plane in our modeling menu. And my subdivision is too high, so I'm going to hit Control A to open up my attribute editor. I'm going to go into the polyplane and I'm going to set my subdivision level to 1 by 1. Okay, pretty straightforward. Then I'm going to right click at the edge, select this edge, this one right here. Hit Control E to extrude, W to pull up, and push back until I have something that looks like a nice angle for my steps, okay? And then I'm going to hit G to repeat last command and hit W to move, and I'm going to move this out like so, all right? Now, this is going to be the area where I want my um, my steps to be. So I'm going to right-click at the edge, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag-select all of these edges, and then I'm going to deselect these, okay? And I'm going to hit Control e to extrude again, and R to scale out like this. So basically this will be our wall and our steps will be in the middle here, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to uh, take these edges here and we're going to go to Edit Mesh, we're going to go to Bevel, uh, where is it? Right there. And then we're going to adjust the fraction because it's way too big. Let's do 0 0.1, looks a lot better. Uh, let's do a bit less. 0.01, yeah, it's fine, as long as we've got a little opening going on there, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert, uh, insert Edge Loop, sorry, and make sure that we're on single setting, and let's add one right there, okay? Now what we're going to do next is we're going to open up our Attribute Editor again, and uh, let's see, that's not this. We're going to hit Control a to open that up, and what we're going to search for is our split ring uh, let's see where is it should be here somewhere just give me one sec guys while i uh, look for that the poly split ring one there we go okay so if you go in here we got the split type and we're going to change absolute to multi and as we do that, we can now pull and increase the divisions, as you can see on our stairs, okay? Now, I want that to be at a count of, uh, let's see, 28, okay? And we're going to close this out. Now, with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to go in, and we're going to right-click, go to Edge, and just click outside here, yeah, right-click, go to Edge. We're going to Q on our keyboard, and we're going to start to select every other edge here one there one there one there 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 okay and with those selected what we're going to do is we're going to hit w to push them back looks like i missed one hang on yeah we're going to hit w to push that back like so and now what we're going to do is we're going to check it from the side view so we can see what's going on. Okay, so you want this to go back, but you also want it to be straight down. Okay, so you want it to be at 90 degrees in both ways. All right. So now if we go in and have a look, you can see that we have a perfect set of stairs. That's all there's to it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.